In this video, I will show you how to connect a new 2019 MacBook Pro 16 inch to an old Thunderbolt Apple Cinema Display 24 inch, and how you can use all of its USB ports that are on the back of the display. What's up, everyone? My name is Dudu, and welcome back to a new episode of Mac Hacks. If you are watching this, you probably want to figure out how you can still use your Apple Cinema Display with a modern MacBook as an external monitor. Well, you are in the right place, and that's what I'm gonna explain during this video. Alright, in my case I have a MacBook Pro 16 inches Retina display late 2019, and as the new standard from Apple since 2016, every MacBook comes with a Thunderbolt 3 port and a headphone input. In this model, we got a 4 Thunderbolt 3 port. But anyway, this is the new technology, we just have to adapt to it and keep moving. First of all, let me tell you that this wonderful 24-inch Apple Cinema display is still working perfectly in 2020. I have been using it myself for 4 years, and I won't complain at all. Screen resolution, pixelation is perfect, and good if you are doing graphic designs. Of course, I won't compare it with any other monitor, but yes, budget-wise it is a considerable choice. And connecting it to a modern MacBook won't require any external software, with a couple of connectors, you will get the job done. And the best part is that you can get one from Amazon or eBay for roughly $200 or less. Now, before we jump to this tutorial, let me tell you first what you are going to need. A USB-C hub multi-port adapter. This hub contains HDMI output and a couple of USB ports. We will use this one in order to connect our MacBook to the monitor, speakers, webcam and other available USB ports in the back of the display so you can use them when needed. Then you would need a USB Type-C to mini display port adapter in order to connect your device using USB Type-C and outputs the video signal via the mini display port connector. There are a couple of choices out there but I use this one made by RAID Sonic. Anyway, I have added more details about these adapters with links below in the description. So the first step, we are going to connect our mini display port adapter to our MacBook. This adapter can easily transfer video resolutions of up to 4K at 60Hz, and reliably transmits video and sound files and therefore harmonize well with new multimedia devices. In my opinion, this is a perfect adapter for Apple devices. From our Apple display, we got three different cables. The mini display port, power cable, and USB connector. We will only use two cables and exclude the power cable as we don't need it anymore. This USB cable will allow us to take control and use the display speakers, eyesight camera, and other USB ports. So first steps, plug in this cable to the mini display port adapter, And then, the USB Type-C part should be connected to our MacBook. Once this is done, in a matter of seconds you should see the display turned on. Now, we need to connect this USB cable from the display. I show you why first. As you can see, the sounds, for example, is only available throughout our MacBook. But what we want is to use our display speakers and other USB ports. To do that, we will use our USB-C hub multi-port adapter, and in order to get an extra USB port, let me unplug this first and plug the hub instead. Then they're connected to the display. Once again, the display turned on. 
Before I forget, I should mention that you of course can connect this mini display port adapter while charging your MacBook without any problem. But for now, I will plug it in the other side of MacBook. and then connect my USB to the hub. And to make things more clear and understandable, I will connect my mouse USB cable to the display's rear port. So now we got everything working. Our mouse, which is connected to display USB port, and then we got our display speakers working. That's gonna wrap it up guys for the, today's video. Thank you again for watching and hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please don't forget to press the like button and consider supporting my channel by hitting subscribe and turn the bell on for future macOS hacks and tutorials. Until next time, cheers.